Well, good uh, morning, afternoon, uh, I don't know, whatever time it is, I don't know. Man, midnight schedule, man. <clears throat> don't get me wrong, like, I like the actual, like, schedule of it once you get used to it. But it throws everything out of whack. Um, <clears throat> I just want to hop on real fast, touch base there, buddy, and get ready to go do a little bit of training, a little bit of, a little bit of running, hit the weights after a while. <clears throat> um... But what I really want to hop on here for is I've been checking out some channels lately, you know, some of the ones in the community and stuff. And I'm kind of watching a little bit more of these, these auditor frauditor guys. <laughs> Gosh, uh, I got to get on KFAR's uh, uh, channel there a little bit last night and watch. And uh, I, I don't, I think uh, I, I can't remember. I, there's been several of them over the past several days, <clears throat> and it blows my mind to think. You know, don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. You guys know I'm all about freedom. Um, uh, I love I love the idea of what our constitutional republic is. I don't think necessarily we've stayed focused on that. I think we've lost, lost view of that, especially over recent years. Um, but the ideals, I think, that our founding fathers had here in the United States are, are, are tremendous. You know, basically, you know, the people run the show, right? Um, and the government answers to us. And we don't ask for rights. We already have them. Right? Did you catch that? I didn't actually catch it until I said it, and that kind of felt like, ooh. Well, anyway. So, um, but I've been watching these guys, and I, I, I got to thinking about something. And I think I've said this before, but I, I just want to kind of throw my opinion back out there because I'm sure everybody was asking. Um, you know, with, with those freedoms and with our rights that we have, you know, there's there's got to be a level of responsibility with that too. Right? Like, um... I watch some of these guys and they they don't they don't want to acknowledge the fact that they're acting kind of foolish. You know, I'm sorry but I don't see the purpose in going in and aggravating, you know, the the little ladies in the library or or in the post office. You know, I I, I don't think that's I don't think that's um a good representation of your freedom. <clears throat> Um, I think there's better ways to do it. You know, if you want to, if you want to practice your exercise, I don't like the term auditor because I, I think that sounds, you know, like I mean, you're, you're just a citizen, you know, practicing rights. It's not really auditor. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you're you're exercising your rights. You know, so I don't think you're really auditing anything. It's not like you're really, really in there taking records and breaking down files and stuff like that so you're exercising your rights so for these guys that are exercising your rights out there i think there's better ways to do it you know terry's a prime example of that <clears throat> you know the whole time you know because terry you know you could you could say you know he's set back and he's been watching us to see but you know there's there's the way around too right you know i like to sit back and watch him and see how he acts and see if he's gonna be one of those guys that goes in there and starts trouble and wants to be you know that asshole in the bunch right and I've never seen him do that. Not once. Even before Terry and I had ever officially met or anything, he was respectful. He didn't stick a camera in everybody's face. Um, he didn't go around trying to spark somebody up to want to argue and fight, whether it be police or, or people at a, uh, a government building or anything else. You never see Terry going into post offices and trying to rouse people up or into um, <clears throat> the library because it's foolish. You're not really achieving anything. You know, you're auditing, supposedly you're aud auditing the, gov the government to, to be able to show you or to show what your rights are. But I don't think this little old lady that's worked for the post office for 400 years thinks about what you're exercising your rights. She, she, it's, it's not up to her to be charged with that. She just don't want to be bothered. Just like you don't want to be bothered. So I think that with our freedoms and rights, we have to have certain responsibility. Show respect. Be nice. Do you want to go out and take pictures or whatever? I don't care. You can come and video me and my guys all you want. I don't care. Um, but I think to go in there and just pick fights and stuff, you're not really exercising your rights. You're just trying to be an asshole. Let's just be real, okay? So, and I'm sure the comments are going to blow up. Oh, you don't understand, blah, blah, blah. No, I do understand. See, what you don't understand is I am the example of what I expect everybody to be. I don't, I'm, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm a police officer that believes in freedom and liberty. I'm a police officer that believes in constitutional values. I'm a police officer that goes to work in order to defend constitutional values. 
defend my own. I oh, guess what? I also don't like open carry, and I'm a huge pro 2A guy. Oh yeah, I think without the Second Amendment, we don't have any of the others. But I can tell you this, I don't go around with my gun on my side unless I'm at work, I have to. Not because I can't, because it's stupid. Sorry, Terry, I love you. It's reckless and it's dangerous. You know, when I very first started teaching tactics, I very first started getting into tactical training, there was a guy that I was taking a class from and uh, at uh, the peace officer training, and he asked us, whose gun is that on your side? And everybody answers, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, your typical stuff, right? And he says, nope, it's whoever gets to it first. I don't ever want anybody to know necessarily that I'm carrying a gun or, or where if I can keep from it, right? Exercise your rights but do it safely. Same way with the First Amendment, Second, so on. Exercise your rights, but do it responsibly and safely. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the tremendous support in the channel. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Then we're going to keep going, all right? We are going to get back on live streams. I know I say this every time, and everybody's like, oh, you're going to Well, I know, I know, okay? It's not my fault. It's, it's somebody else's. To be honest, it's probably taters, okay? But nevertheless, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. We'll get back on. I'm going to get with Terry. I'm going to get with Bits. Maybe some of the old gang. Get the old band back together. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bless somebody else today. Do something positive. Train like you fight. Fight like you train. See you guys.